You see it, you see it, you see it, you see it. This here is the 2011 Crown Victoria P71. I'm at the car wash as you guys can obviously see. Got the rinse that thing off. The wax is still beating on that thing. I'm not gonna talk about the exterior today. Today we're gonna get inside the insides and them guts. We're gonna get in the insides and them guts. I'm gonna let you guys see the car. Just like I said, I just rinsed that boy off. Let you guys see it, you see him. It's your boy Crown, King Crown. If you like these videos, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Share with other P71 enthusiasts. But let's get into this video today. First, we're gonna start off with the most needed thing if you're gonna, if you have a Crown Victoria P71. And what is that? The center console. As any, anybody that's familiar with a Crown Victoria, they know that center console is missing. It's just blank. Most of, you know, police, it depends on um, what your car was prior to you buying it. Whether it was a police car, or whatever the case may be, they have their electronics hooked up and things like that, laptops and all that stuff and dispatch and all that stuff, they have it placed right there. So when they put it on the sale for market, they remove those contents sometimes. Sometimes you can get a Crown Victoria with some of the contents still inside. They remove those, they, they remove those things, so what you'll have to do is get another one. Get something that's going to uh, replace what's missing. It's going to be a big bare space right there when you get your P71 or any Crown Victoria. What this thing is, is a center console. And also doubles as a snack holder when you want to take your snacks inside the house. The kids want to eat them all up. You can place things in there. Doubles as an armrest, snack holder, and cup holder. It comes with two cup holders. As you can see, two cup holders right there. A little chain slot for, mis for miscellaneous items. And then you got your storage space. This thing, this thing is it's deep. It's long. It's about the uh, the length of uh, the space is about the same length of uh, the actual container. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a little pouch back there for people that's sitting in the back. And that's that. Next, I'm going to hit you guys with something that you need. You need this. If you get a Crown Victoria P71, it's going to come with the regular standard AM FM radio. If you got CDs or Bluetooth or Blu uh, a Blu-ray or a DVD, this is the move you want to make. This is the Pioneer AVH 600EX. Comes with Bluetooth. It's a touchscreen. Touchscreen, Bluetooth. Uh, DVD, CD, Blu-ray. That's where you put the DVDs at. And the DVD, as you can see, DVD, Blu-ray. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera, but DVD, Blu-ray, Sirius XM. I also have the Sirius XM connected to that. As you can see, that's my Sirius XM uh, receiver right there. Need that, need that. Especially if you travel far distances, you're gonna need some type of entertainment. And that's it. Another feature this guy has, reverse camera. Right now, my something is going on with my reverse camera. I'm gonna have someone look at it and once that's up and running, I'm gonna show you guys the reverse camera. Also, this thing comes with standard is a microphone for your Bluetooth calls. Can't make Bluetooth calls without a microphone, right? You can pretty much have this uh, installed. You know, you can start, you can install it yourself. Pretty much you remove this and pretty much have the wires hidden. So it can, for a nice and clean, neat presentation. Next, you're gonna need this car mount, phone mount for your car. This is the pop socket car mount. Pretty much I have my phone, my pop socket connected to the back of my phone, which you guys can't see because I'm recording right now with my phone. You pretty much place your phone right, put the pop socket, connect the pop socket to your phone, have this connected to your uh, dash. Right now, what I'd use, I'd use Gorilla Glue for this. So it can be nice and sturdy. I'm gonna worry about, worry about my phone falling as I'm driving and things of that nature. Place your phone here, connect it pretty much, bam. You can look at your navigation and whatever the case may be, all in your center view. Next, what I have is the keyless entry. 
some come standard and some you have to install. I installed this one pretty much. Let me show you how the keyless entry work. You're running say if it's cold. You want to make a quick run inside Dunkin' Donuts to get your coffee or whatever the case may be. Or if you're young and fly and flashy just like how I used to be, pretty much you want to have your music blasting as you run inside the gas station to get your, your things and your snacks and your knickknacks. You pretty much, as the car is running, pretty much press this button, right? And then you turn the car off. And pull the key out you don't you don't turn the car off but you turn it inside the off position and you can pull the key out now when you want to start it back up you hit the brakes turn the key back into the into the drive the drive part <laughs> whatever you call that uh function you turn it back on pretty much pull off pull it, pull it in the drive and you can pull off now what's next uh Oh, let me, uh, now let's hit the features that come standard with your Crown Victoria. Of course, you have the regular heat, AC controls. You know, you have your, uh, this guy, which turns on this light. That's with that function. You have your, another light turns red i don't know if you could pick that pick that up guys but it gets red it illuminates red nice to red hue in the car i don't know why it was installed I, it came with the car or it probably was a feature that they added and you have the back headlights right and you turn it off with the dash control bam and that's the feature and the mods you need to get for your oh let me not forget i'll be so snug and comfortable on my commutes lumbar pillow i don't have it on back of me at the moment because i'm going to show you guys the lumbar pillow and that's it for your back support also what i purchased i got this from walmart it came with the lumbar pillow let me show you guys neck support a little neck support pillow like I say, for you guys is traveling far. Now let me let you guys get a full glimpse of the insides of the Crown Victoria. Here's another feature I just found. I'm really gonna run across these features here and there. This is for the pedal adjusters. You can bring the the pedals. I don't know if you got you guys are not gonna be able to pick that up. You bring the pedals close, or you can back them off. Thank you. As you know, the Crown Victoria comes with the standard seats. Mine's a cloth with a center leather strip. Like I said, I got the Infinity speakers installed in the back. As you can see. And two on the door. One, one's right there in the front. A little small speaker. Other one's on the driver door. And that you can sit five people back here depending on how big they are two in the front and that's the crown victoria features and mods that you need for your crown victoria let's not forget you're going to need to charge the phone right i almost forgot these cup holders Damn. a lot of people cup holders are broke mine's still functional inside the cup holders inside these cup holders you have uh as you can see the cup holders you have a outlet for your for your you know for your phone you can charge your phone up and on the bottom i, I had like i said i've been driving i had like five pounds before this, and i just discovered that there is another socket under here for your, uh, you know, for another outlet under there, under the dash, which is a nice little feature. You know, you have your that you know, rear defrost, trunk latch release. Let me show you the trunk space since we're talking about interior. 
hey, what's more interior than this big trunk back here, right? My trunk is kind of drunk, junky at the moment. As you, as you can see, all that space back there. Excuse all the garbage. All that space back there. You can fit two bodies in that boy. Fit some, you fit two bodies in there, man. And every trunk has the center release, I mean the release, in case you kidnap some kids. They ain't gonna be kidnapped too long because they're gonna get out that jam. And that's the 2011 interior mods and standard things that come inside of a 2011 Crown Victoria. From 2000 to, uh, say, 2011, most features that come standard are pretty much in every Crown Victoria. It's none different. A little slight adjustments. You have the uh, cruise control in the center. I mean, uh, functions that, that comes on the steering wheel. Mine don't. And that's it, guys. It's your boy, King Crown. And I'm out. You guys have a nice night. It's nighttime. People looking at me weird. Like the car wash. I'm about to go home. Get some rest. I'll holler at you guys later. And I'm coming with a new video every now and then. So that's either today, tomorrow. It's going to be coming consistent. So what I need you to do, if you like these videos, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. King Crown is here. I'm going to hit you guys with info on your Crown Victorious. Any features that come with a Crown Victoria. And your lifestyle news. Holla.